stars and other political appointees of President Obari nursing political aspirations are in a dilemma on their next line of action, just as the deadline set by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for political parties to conduct primaries draws near. Based on the new Electoral Act, the ministers and other aides of the president are expected to resign in order to be eligible to contest any elective positions in next year's general elections. Though President Barry is silent on the controversy over the resignation of his aides, the ruling of Progressive Congress APC in its March National Convention had barred political appointees from voting as delegates. Section 84 of the new Electoral Act stipulates that anyone holding a political office Ministers, commissioners, special advisors, and others must relinquish really the position before they can be eligible to participate in the electoral process either as candidates for or delegates. Last week, APC National Publicity Secretary Felix Mocha urged political appointees to resign before the primaries of the party, despite an Umahia Federal High Court ruling striking down Section 84. Subsection 12. Part of Section 84 of the Act states no political appointee at any level shall be a voting delegate or be voted for at the convention or congress of any political party for the purpose of the nomination of candidates for any election. The provision further states that where a political party fails to comply with the provisions of the Act, in the conduct of its primaries, its candidates for election shall not be included in the election for the particular position in issue. Politics appoint political appointees that the provision refers to include the 43 federal ministers, special advisors, senior special assistants, special assistants, and heads of government agencies, commissioners, and other political appointees at the state level are also affected. A competent source told our top source that during a private meeting between President Barry and Abdullahi Adamu, the new chairman of APC last week concerns were raised about the refusal of the affected ministers and other aides in the federal cabinet to resign. The source said APC leadership was worried that the appeal filed by the National Assembly challenging the decision of Umahia High Court on the Electoral Act may diminish the chances of the party in next year's elections. APC leadership bearing any last-minute change will officially rise to inform its members who are appointees at the state and federal levels but intend to vie for any position to resign, he said. He said as soon as the directive is issued, Key A list ministers, including the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, who is among the leading contenders, will resign en masse. Within the Bari cabinet, aspirants believed to be affected include ministers of transportation, Rotimi Ameshi, labor and employment, Chris Gige, aviation, Adi Sirika, science and technology, Ogbonaya Onu. Naja Data Affairs, Gotu Akpabio, State for Petroleum Resources, Timmy Prisiva, Communications and Digital Economy, Isa Patami, Works and Housing, Babatude Fashola, Youth and Sports Development, Sunday Dari, and Minister of State for Education, Emeka Nwa Jobia. There are other aides to the President vying to various positions who are also under pressure to resign ahead of the planned primaries of the ruling APC. Meanwhile following, this, meanwhile, following his public declaration to contest the 23 presidential election, the Niger Delta Transparency, Accountability and Good Governance Group, Niger Delta Tag, has asked Minister of Transportation Shibuke Rotimi Amechi to resign immediately. On Saturday, in Potaiko River State, Amechi had expressed interest to contest the presidential election. In a statement in Portaikot yesterday, national coordinator of the Nyaleta Tag Julius Godspower said 
why it is within Amesh's right to seek election into the highest office in the country. It is immoral, illegal, and unethical for him to remain in office as minister and member of President Barry's cabinet while chasing his political pension. The minister placed the cart before the horse. The proper thing to do would have been to first resign before declaring his presidential pension. It is rather unfortunate that due process is not followed by, by the minister and I hope President Barry will direct him to step down immediately. The proper thing to do now is for him to immediately resign to pursue his dream. Remaining in office as minister while pursuing his presidential ambition will be a huge distraction to government. The transport sector is in a very bad state and it is bound to suffer more with a presidential aspirant as minister. Also, also the situation creates a clear conflict of interest for the minister. How are we sure contractors and Agencies under the Federal Ministry of Transportation will not be cajoled or compelled to support his presidential bid one way or the other. Avia Satun was your ration to this as Buhari's minister under pressure to resign. Please uh, drop your ration in the comment section. Ensure you subscribe to our channel for more updates and uh, also sh share this report across all political platforms regarding President Barry, okay? And also share this report across all APC political platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, name it, thanks and God bless. Yeah, of course, you, you you are to share this report across all political platforms regarding President Barry on Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, name it, thanks and God bless. All right, um, Looking at the reaction section at the moment, the first reaction here is from uh, Dyson Coca, which says, uh, Ameshi does not have respect for rules and regulations. It is his natural, it is his nature. It would be disastrous to have such a reptile as our sink. Okay? And the Abdul Dawood did uh, reply to Dyson Coca, saying, uh, Yes, I agree with you. Yes, I agree with you. Then uh, Hassan Abdul Rahman did uh, commented here saying, uh, Why is it difficult to resign in Europe? Prime ministers resign without pressure, Nigeria. Okay, all right. Uh, ensure you subscribe to our channel for more updates as we take more reactions here. And this is from uh, Idowu Joshua, which says, uh, All of them should resign, let them go and test their popularity without further mind. Let go walk r around without special security so that they will taste what ordinary Nigerians are passing through. And this is all we can take for now. Thanks and God bless. And ensure you subscribe to our channel. Make this report very nice. Spread this report across all these platforms. Oh, thanks and God bless. And bye for now. Do join us in the other news, please. Okay.